Welcome back to my video series where I talk about movies that I believe everyone needs to see at least once in their lifetime. And continuing this series is The Bride of Frankenstein, released in 1935. This movie picks up literally at the end of the first movie and sees Frankenstein's monster, once again played by Boris Karloff, just being persecuted and feared by every single person that he meets. One of the reasons I believe everyone needs to see this movie at least once in their lifetime is because this is the movie that really establishes the monster made by Frankenstein as a sympathetic creature because, yeah, he's sympathetic in the first movie, but you didn't really get to spend a whole lot of time with him to see how every single person that met him reacted. Whereas in this movie, it is abundantly clear that no matter where he goes, no matter what he does, everyone is going to be afraid of him with the exception of a blind man that he meets in the woods. And it's also one of the most touching scenes in the Universal Monster movies because you see that the two find comfort and compassion in each other, and the monster also gets to learn, at least basically, how to speak from the old blind man. But Boris Karloff is not the only great thing about this movie, as Ernest Sessinger is also great in this movie as Dr. Pretorius, aka one of Henry Frankenstein's former colleagues. This man is over the top, he is amazing, and is the definition of a mad scientist. Yes, Henry Frankenstein in the first movie was a mad scientist, but you do have to keep in mind that he probably lost a good few weeks of sleep. Whereas, in this movie, Pretorius literally makes many people out of what is presumably black magic. So that's just a little something to think about in terms of which one of them is really crazy. Now obviously, we can't end this video without talking about Elsa Lanchester as the monster's bride. Now, there's certainly not a lot for me to say as she only comes in at the very end of the movie and it's only for a few minutes. But I do think her makeup is very well done, and the scene where she is given life I think is just as awesome and as iconic as the scene where the original monster is given life. So those are my main thoughts on Universal's The Bride of Frankenstein. So I want to thank you very much for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, please be sure to hit the thumbs up button. It really helps out and means a lot. And also be sure to let me know in the comments if you have seen this movie, what your thoughts on it are, and what other classic Universal monster movies people need to see. And until next time, my name is Nick Leland. Thank you for watching this video, and have a great day.